the song Country Storm came about um, actually due to last year's Music Awards where I met Pat Hanna and a friend of hers in Cincinnati was David Eric and that's who I co-wrote Country Storm with and um, she introduced me on, online using the messenger in a three-way conversation and then from there we got chatting and um, he had thought they're just like one of those tornadoes, you know, like one of those country storms and um, he said, country storm? You're like a country storm. <laughs> and then he said, just hang on there for a minute, I'll just go in my studio and I'll send you an MP3. And he sent me this MP3 and said, how about you write some words over it? And from there, once we got the song finalised, um, he suggested Chip Martin as a producer, who's a gold record creditor producer in Nashville, quite a well-known one. And so he began working on the backing track. It's time to see my lightning flash, hear my thunder. Artist Launch seemed like um, a really good online music distributor and I started to build a relationship with them. They involved me in their syndicated radio show which goes out to radio stations all over the world every week and I began to host the odd show from New Zealand. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Artist Launch Hour. This week we have a real treat for you. We have a couple of guest hosts. I'm Ali Cook and I'm joined by co-host and fellow ArtistLaunch.com artist, Mr Harmony Aquarian. At the same time as I became involved in them, I formed a company called Southern Cyber Music. The idea of Southern Cyber Music was to help South Island artists. They can still have their own label, but um, it's more like a portal that that represents them and helps to get their music out there. So we've got the likes of Kylie Harris, who of course is based in Nashville country artist. Uh, Pat Hanna, there is Harmony Aquarian, who's based up in Nelson Equus. There's Sparky's Cosmic Journey. So there's quite a there's quite a wide range of artists um, and it's continually growing. And they also had begun to have artist launch live showcases around the world and seeing as I was deciding to travel they said well let's organise a London concert and let's organise a concert in Detroit which is where Artist Launch is actually based. The standard of the artists was just brilliant and um, they'd learnt all of my stuff. One of the guys in the band, Paul Kingley's, uh, also in Three Dog Night. So it was really excellent um, to work with that level of artist. From Detroit, I headed off to Nashville. Sort of lost my guitar on the way, but we soon sorted that out. I arrived and did a television show the day that I arrived for Smart Country TV. From Nashville, Tennessee, welcome to Smart Country. We had a lot of fun doing that with a couple of puppets by the name of uh, Roscoe and Sir Charles Winston III. See, I can talk in your language and I can talk in your language as well and you can both understand me at the same time. Does that make them happy? And then prepared and went into the studio with uh, Chip Martin to begin recording Country Storm. Yeah, I think the second to last one was the better one. So which one do you think, Chip? Uh, of, of, the of the two we like. The phrase you just sang? Yeah. The one that you like. You it's, like that yeah, just, you know, it sounds a little bit more, it sounds a bit more energetic. Yes. Chip Martin is just a, a great instrumentalist, although he got a live drummer and he basically played a lot of the instrumentation himself. Harmony came down and uh, played some mandolin on the track. It was quite a, a lovely little piece that's in the middle of it that just really made it. At the completion of two days, we had a little rest and walked away from it just to have a little break and get some fresh ears on it. And I, I really felt that the song just needed a little bit of punch. I sort of built up quite a bit of respect for Paul from Three Dog Night. And um, I emailed Paul and said, look, can I send you the MP3? And he put it on his garage band after a Three Dog Night gig one night, came back to the hotel, recorded it, sent the MP3 back to me with him scatting over the end of the song. And it just gave me sort of inspiration and some ideas. I went back into the studio with Chip and just, you know, nailed the thing to the wall.
I decided I should try and get as much digital footage while I was over there in case I could get anything that could be usable. I was like, how am I going to keep this camera on there? Because it was we were driving in a you know on a freeway with heaps of cars going really fast, and so I had it up on the dashboard and I was like singing away, and then scared the thing was going to fly straight off onto the freeway. Stay, baby. We went and found a country road because we thought, oh, well, that could be quite good. And I had Harmony there as well, and we had a couple of digital cameras, and we put one on a tripod on the front of the car, and we had Harmony sitting on the bonnet, and me sitting up on the back, and Tor driving the car. And we thought, right, we'll go for a drive up this road. And we got right to the end of the road, and we saw this big set of gates with music notes on it. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. And it had George Jones. <laughs> George Jones is you know, quite famous in country circles. My friend uh, George Pressman, he's the uncle to uh, Brett Ratner, who's a Hollywood director. He's a bit of a cameraman, so he said, well, you know, I'll shoot your LA footage for you. So it was great. We went up into the Hollywood Hills and um, he said, let's, let's get that Hollywood sign in behind you. So that, that added in nicely to what I'd done in, in, in Nashville. Brett Ratner had put out a book called The Photo Booth about three years ago and the book's got Michael Jackson in it, it's got Chelsea Clinton in it, it's got anybody who's anybody in it and um, all without makeup on. So I got the privilege to sit in the photo booth and get a couple of photo strips done which was a bit of fun. So the next step was to put the video together and I turned to my good friend Paul Sparks who also did my um, video for I Wonder. decided that there was this really good barn and we smelt him and it was about a hundred years old and filled with hay he said and really derelict looking and this is the great place to film it and I saw the like, yeah, hundred year old barn you know and pulled up into the driveway and it looked like a movie set it looked like someone had actually you know built the thing especially for it and um, just just a great place to make a video. So During the day we, had, we just had so much fun, we had some extras there Dean, that was quite hilarious. I just kicked down, see that, I'm a proper actor. See how I went, boom. We had a lot of fun in the car, driving up and down the road. He said, let's do one of those, you know, in the hay shots. <laughs> and I thought, oh that's okay, it's just the makeup artist and it's just the director and then the next thing. <laughs> farmer turned up and the farmer's wife turned up and then the son turned up on the motorbike with the sheep trailer on the back and <laughs> all the extras turned up and the next thing I'm lying around in the hay, you know, in front of everybody. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I coped, I coped. Like the Songs about believing in what you want to do and for me that's my music, for other women that will be what their goals are and to me that's the songs as a real self-empowerment thing. Like